Hey folks, it's Fridgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Boulder Canyon. We've got our tractor up here, we're just about to go and gather another couple of bales here to take down for the sheep, and then we're going to wrap the last two and do a bit of work there. We've got this field right here, and I asked you all in a question last week, not a weekly question that you voted on, because I didn't actually think of the question until right on the very final episode. Um, but did you want me to leave this as one large field all the way around and join it into this one? And then have this boulder here as an island in the middle? Or did you think I should put a separate field over here? And the majority of the people that replied actually said that you wanted me to have it as a set, as not a separate field. As, join the field up and, and make it all into one big field. So we'll do that, and we'll have an island in the middle. We'll see how that works out. And then we're going to... Well, we're working on our sheep, and we're working on our field. And then once we've done all of that, and we've got this field all ploughed up and ready to join into the grass field there, then we can start working on some more stuff up there. I was thinking about asking a question about something up there, but honestly, at this point, um, it doesn't really matter. So we won't worry about a weekly question this week again. We will just get straight on with doing this. So I want to gather two more bales... So that I can go and put them in for our beautiful sheep over here. Because there's enough room to put two more bales in. I don't know about putting three bales in. But I think two bales will be just fine. And then by the time we plough up the other field. And we get this field all done. Um, the sheep will be about ready for some more grass. Which will be perfect because we'll have more ready. Now, some people did say that I should mow that field there before I plough it up. I did consider this and ultimately I've decided against doing that because it's going to be... It's quite a big field and I think mowing all of that and then doing the whole thing, it's going to get a bit tedious. I know that this is the hardcore series, so tedious is not something we worry about too much. But I think that that is kind of getting to the point where it's going to be just just a little bit too much is it's going to be too dull to watch so i'm not actually going to do that what i am going to do though is i'm going to bring that one over there and then put it straight back again because i didn't wait to straighten the wheels so let's do it like that there then straighten the wheels there right now let's pick this one up driving on all the grass that we want to go and pick up very soon easy does it easy does it there we go right okay we've got two more bales of grass we're going to take these down and then the other two we will get them with the wrapper and uh, wrap them and sell them immediately and we can also get our rake working in the field as well which would be absolutely fantastic so we'll bring these in round this way Look at all the sheep lined up there. Now they're not lined up. They were obviously lined up to start with, just as a kind of a thing. Not quite sure why, but they were. Let us know, let's, let's not question the, um, the, the inner workings of the sheep mind, because it is a very strange and peculiar thing. Not to be questioned and not to be trifled with. But there we go, we've got plenty in there. The water we will... We'll worry about that later. We don't need to worry about the water. They've got enough water to keep them going at the moment, so we don't need to concern ourselves with it. What we do want to concern ourselves with, I'm going to leave the front loader on like this rather than changing it over. Um, and that way... Because, yeah, at the moment I don't need a weight on the front, do I? Not if I've got this one. And I could probably do with a, a rear weight... Yeah, I don't think we need to actually worry about it too much. We can just kind of leave this one going like this. Uh, what we'll do, what before we actually put that one going, if I run over to this tractor over here and we will get going with this one, it's a little bit weird that that one is hooked on like that because of the lack of actual visual on the um, on the rake. But still, it, it, it works. That's the, that's the important thing. So long as it actually does what it's supposed to do, and I'm, I'm not too fussed about it. So we'll bring this one up here, and we will unfold it as we go. And we will start this one working on this corner over here. 
and I'm hoping that it will cope with that just fine. So we will bring that up to about there. That's, that's roughly where it's going to have to go. I press H there. And we've now got hired help busy rowing that one up. So that one will go up there. It's probably not going to do the tidiest of jobs up on this end. But that's because of the trees and stuff. We know that that does that. It's absolutely fine. Right. You're doing a magnificent job. So, nope, we, we want to go to this one. Um, that is one thing that we are allowed to do. I said that right at the beginning of the series, is that we are allowed to tab from one machine to another when we're tabbing out from hired help. We're not allowed to tab over to a machine that's over at the shop. Because um, we can't, like, tab over to the shop and then drive back. We have to walk over to the shop. At least that was the original idea. I mean, maybe we'll change our minds on that later on. But at the moment, the idea is if we want to go to the shop, we have to walk to the shop. Or find another vehicle to, to take us to the shop and then come back again. So I'll put that one up on there. Swing round like this. And then we will go racing up through here while that one wraps. And we will dump it off. I'm not going to do this with all the rest of them. We'll, we'll get a couple of bales and we will sell them here. And that should give us enough. Actually, no, I, I don't think a couple of bales is going to be enough. But there is a trailer that we can get that is a lot cheaper than the other trailers. Uh, I want to unload that one there a minute. And we don't get a massive amount for these bales, do we? Like $900 at the moment for the bales. So ideally, I'd like to keep them a bit longer. But what we've got in here... If we go to there and then we go to... We've got an autoload trailer that's already available in the game that we can use. And it's these here. These are actually autoload trailers. That one there takes 36 round bales and that one there takes 24 square bales. Now, they've only got one option. You can't change to multiple options on them. So I really like the idea of having this one here. It's $10,000 and it'll take 36 bales on it. And I think that would be an absolutely wonderful addition to our farm and to our whole setup that we've got here. I think it could work really well, but we're going to need 10 grand. So to start with, we'd have to go and gather a few bales and then sell them. Um, I can I can live with that. We, we've, we've got $1,600 at the moment, so we could gather up a few bales, we could sell them. Then we could go round, we'd do the baling. And we can... I know that I'm using hired help to do the rowing up. That, that Again, I'm, I'm absolutely fine with that. We're spending a little bit of money on that. But it means it is one less job that we've actually got to do. Um, so sell that one in there. We're on 2500 already. 899 in sold. But is, that, is the price going up? I think the price is actually climbing at the moment for silage. Uh, so it is. It's going up. Right, that's excellent. So we'll stop that one there, and I'm going to go and get the baler on. The rake is doing a magnificent job over there. We'll let him just keep doing that, and we will bail. And then, oop, there we go. That wasn't particularly tidily done, but it still worked. So we'll go up over this way. It's actually picked up just about everything up through here. So if I start that one up there there's there's a little bit that's left behind but not very much so we will go running up through here and we will bail up this little bit here and then once we've done this oops the price of the bales will have risen so the price of bales will have gone up we'll be able to sell our silage for a bit more and then the stuff that's left i well we can wrap everything in the field and just leave it as it is as it lies in the field and we can then go and get the trailer once we've got enough money and we can gather up the rest of the bales off the fields. Um, we don't have access to this land. Great demand at sawmill. Got some wages going out. Um, no, not once we've got enough money. We'll, we'll sell, once we've made our 10 grand, we can buy a trailer, we can buy the auto load trailer, but the rest of the bales we can just wrap them and leave them in the field. Then the, we buy the trailer and we'll leave them in the field and we'll just let that price come up for the silage. Once the price is at the right point for the silage, then we can go and pick them all up, pick up all those bales, 
take them over to the sell point with the bale trailer and unload and sell the whole lot. And I think that will work out rather nicely for us. We'll make a nice bit of money out of it. Um, it's gonna sort of, it's gonna allow us to maximize a bit better the amount of money that we do get for our bales, which I think is a rather important thing. I keep pressing the wrong button here. Um, I think it's a rather important thing for us to be able to maximize our profits. I think it's an extremely important thing, being able to maximize profits. And, um... Yeah, it's, it's the sort of thing that you would do. I mean, yes, we've got the whole thing with the dealer who comes up from the valley and he's only buying bulk crops all at once. But being able to, like, we, we still want to be able to bargain with him a little bit. So being able to get ourselves a decent price for our bales, that, that does seem like a good thing to do. And it does seem like a fairly realistic thing to do. You know, we're, we're bargaining with a... Um, a merchant, a feed merchant, and we're, we're just getting the best price available for our goods. Which is kind of the whole point of having the sell point anyway, is so that we can negotiate a little bit. So I'm, I'm, I quite like this idea. Selling a few of the bales off, and then holding on to the rest until we get a much better price. We, we've kind of drip-fed him a few of them, because he's really desperate for a few bales, and then the rest of them we're saying, you know what? Actually, mate, we're going to hold on to these until you can give us a better price. I mean, if you can pony up some better dough for it straight away, ideal. We'll go along with that. Right, there was a little bit there that uh, I'd left, that well, I'd gotten left behind. Uh, I just wanted to gather up. So we'll run down here. We can actually go and take, we'll go over a, a, a couple of lines over here. I'll go and pick that one up there. And then we'll go all the way up through the field. Now, this is the bit that I don't like about the round bales, obviously, is the bit where you keep stopping. And I've never liked this bit, and I've never made any secrets about this either. But I do really like the fact that we've got both tractors working in the field. I think that is very cool. I think him working there and us working up through here, I think that is absolutely fantastic. We keep on going up through here. We'll get another bale on this run two bales up through. So we, we are, we're getting a, quite a good yield on this. I mean, look, you get two bales going up through here. We're going to have almost another bale as well as we come up through. So we let that one out there. And then he's coming up. He's coming back up through there. I'm just going to wait for him a minute. Right. I've done what I wanted to do. You know exactly what I wanted to do. He may stop. The, oh, no, he's not going to stop. I did wonder if he was going to stop because of the angle of the field. But no, it looks like he's going to carry on. He's going to be a good boy and he's going to keep doing everything that he's supposed to be doing. Which I like. I, I approve of this. Frithgar does approve of workers that keep working when, you know, they, they get to the end of the field. Because we know that some of them don't do that. So, oh. <laughs> he says. Right. we go back to this one. He almost did it. He then came up to this point and then decided he was just going to stop. I'm going to go with a hired help just to do one more pass. And we'll let that one run down through. Although, he may, be, he may decide to get difficult with us now, mightn't he? And not just do this bit here. He might decide to, he might decide to turn right at the end of the field instead of turning left like he's supposed to. He's also got a bit of an awkward line. No, he's turning the right... Okay, that's good. He's turning the right way. So we'll carry on up through here. Like that. The one difficult thing with using this baler is it's very difficult for me to go off to the side and do us like a side camera angle like this. Because you've got to be so accurate with getting that infeed spot on, it's quite tricky to be able to do that and give you a bit of variety in the footage but uh, it won't take too long to do this he, he's probably going to turn that tract around and then he's going to stop because of the angle of it I mean that's actually all right it's quite short runs on that little bit so it's not really going to be the end of the world if he decides to go and do that um, we will now oh, what's he doing Right, now I've I've turned too much there. Need to straighten up a little. There we go, that's better. Right, 
Now we can run up through here. And we can probably go on a bit too... Yes, you've gone on a bit too far. I'm very good at rushing on too far on this one. So let's unload it. He's actually... Now he's doing it properly. I, the, the, what, the bit where I said he's probably not going to be able to cope with it. He's actually going on and he's doing it properly. That's all right. Let him go on and do that bit properly. That's what he wants to do. We can keep going up through here, and our number of bales is ever increasing. We've or, we've had two off of... Uh, I think I went a little bit too far on that one. Just 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 a smidgen. Just, just a tiny, tiny smidgen. Yeah, let's close you down again. Off we trot. Right up through here. Right, this we should fill this bale up. Uh, just about on the end of, on this run. What are we at? About 80%. 80, 83%. That's pretty good going. And then we'll, we'll bring that in around there. And again, it's... It's because it doesn't straighten up all that quickly. I know it's actually quite good that it doesn't straighten up that quickly uh, some of the time. And then there's other times where actually it's a bit of a jolly nuisance. And you'd like it to straighten up a little bit faster. But... Uh, what have we got so far? There's four, uh, seven, ten, is eleven bales so far. Now the trailer that I'm looking at is 30 bales. Uh, no, 36 bales. So we get a good number of bales off of the trailer, which is absolutely brilliant. That is really, really awesome, the number of bales that we get off, on, we get off the trailer, get onto the trailer. Um, and yes, it'll probably be better if we could come back to it a bit later on. Um, you know what? I've just thought of a question that I can ask you. That question is... Oh. No, I was... I'm, I'm wondering about this now. Um, no. I was I was thinking I may have a question that I could ask you and, and, uh, for a weekly question. But no, I, d I don't think that that will actually matter as a weekly question. Um, we, we won't bother with that one. Um, so just just ignore the whole references to weekly questions for a minute because uh, I obviously don't know what I'm talking about. We will stick with what we've got. We'll stick with this system that we've got right here. And then once we've got our bigger field all ploughed up and done, we'll get one nice big crop coming off of that one. We'll go through, be able to mow the whole field, and then um, we'll row it all up and we'll bale it and then um, we can run the wrapper through it because our wrapper is actually pretty good it, it's nice and fast which is awesome that is genuinely awesome that it is that fast uh, so we should be able to just go through that entire field without any trouble whatsoever at least this is what I'm hoping um, yes it's going to be a little bit slow having to do it all with this Baylor, but that's, that's kind of what I was thinking was whether or not we should be investing in another baler. I don't think we should though. Even though it's going to be a little bit slow, getting another baler would mean that we get rid of our and our wrapper is fairly quick. And if we get the combo baler, that's another seventy thousand dollars that we'd have to go and spend. And I know some of you said you thought that was a pretty good idea to go and get that one. It would be a good investment. Um. That is 70 grand that we've then got to earn and it's going to be 70 grand longer before we get our tree harvester and then, you know, following that another seven, you know, it's 70 grand later to be able to start working on arable crops and things like that. So, um, yeah, it's, I don't think it's a good thing to do at the moment. Not, not right now. Okay, I'm going to stop there a minute. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over and we're going to get this tractor over here. And we're going to just tidy up a run along this bottom end. The other bits don't matter so much. Right, what? Oh. Pressing the wrong button, that's why. Now, we'll bring it over to here. I need to kind of... We'll get it like that, and then... We can start going this way. Still not going to pull all of that in. And I've left a bit up there. So, what I'm going to need to do... We need to come round like that. And then I'm going to do another run through this way. Which is probably not the best way to go rowing this up. Because it's going to leave a terrible mess. And also, we know that our baler is not going to pick this up very well. But still. 
What's done is done. We bring that one through there. At least we know that this tractor is capable of using this one. Which means that it would also be capable later on of pulling a hay turner as well. If we've got a smaller hay turner, this would be the perfect tractor for doing that. And it's like I've said before, so many farms have a small tractor and you use it for doing jobs like pulling the hay turner and uh, even pulling the wrapper. This one, this one should be able to pull that wrapper. We might actually try it for pulling the wrapper. I mean, yeah, it's slow. So that's that's sort of against the, the that that does go against it being so slow, but it would still work. Right. I'll bring you there. And then I will leap into this bad boy here and we will spin round. Like this. I got a little bit there in front of that bale. That I want to gather up. And then we've got these two part runs. Or these two little bits on the end here. Like this. So I'll try and bring I'll try and gather those up, but I don't want to dump a bale at the end of the run. Because it's just gonna be right in my way, isn't it? I don't actually need to dump a bale right at the end of the run. I can bring the bale out there and I can drop it off there, like that. So I'll drop you right there like that. And then I will go back over this way. We'll spin round and we'll take the other wiggly bit. Do that first. So I'll go round here. And yeah, I'm doing a lot of turning at the moment, um, which is not ideal for the PTO shaft. And also, this kind of wiggly work here is where it really shows up this baler. This baler, it really does show the absolute worst aspects of this baler. And that is that narrow pickup that just doesn't pick up the grass at all. It doesn't like to pick it up. And the bit that really frustrates me about that is the lack of realism on it. Because if you go over a clump of grass, it pulls the whole thing in. Right, the the cutoff point for where it picks up on this model is well inside the actual edge of the pickup. Uh, whereas all of the other balers, the cutoff edge, the cutoff point for where it gathers up the straw or gathers up any of it is outside of the limit of where the actual pickup bit is. And because of that, it basically means that this baler is a lot worse than any of the others and it doesn't need to be it, it if it had the same pickup width as the others it would be a significant improvement on it and it would make the baler in general a lot better but i I've, I've, I've gone on about this before it's it's something that does frustrate me i really don't understand why they deliberately made this baler uh so poor why they had to go and make this one so appallingly bad performance wise compared to all of the others i mean yes it's a little bit of a cheaper it's it is the starter option but i don't see that as a reason for making the pickup reel so narrow that it doesn't pick up half of the crop you know half the time it 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 doesn't make any logical sense to me why would you deliberately make the baler worse um you're still going to want to upgrade from this one. You're still going to want to go for a square baler, or most people tend to want to go for square balers. From what I've seen of a, um, a poll that was asked on the Farming Simulator on, on the Facebook page, um, yeah, most people automatically go for um, square balers anyway. Or they will upgrade and they will get the combo baler. So what is the point in making this one so atrociously bad if everybody's going to be upgrading from this one and not wanting to use it anyway? That's the bit that doesn't make sense to me. That's the bit that I find genuinely confusing. Right? They've deliberately gone and made this baler worse than all of the others by giving it a different rule set than all the others. Yeah, The pickup reel for the others is outside of the visual pickup reel on the baler whereas this one is inside of the pickup reel of the baler so it's, it's the visual bit so there is actually a penalty for using this baler and the penalty makes absolutely no logical sense whatsoever there is i can think of no reason for doing it other 
than it was a mistake that uh, was unintended, but they're not going to fix because, you know, it's, it's, it's already in the game. Um, that is literally the only thing I can think of to have it like it is. And even that doesn't really make a lot of sense because it's not like it's a huge fix. Uh, but anyway, there's, there's not a lot that we can do about it, so I may as well stop whining about it. And we will bring it. So I, I will at some point fairly soon upgrade the baler, but I, I don't know how soon because we've got other things that we want to buy first. So I'll bring you over there like that and just gather up that little bit of grass in front of the sheep. And then I will bring the baler back over this way. And I will do what I did before. That I'll anchor it round like that, and then I'm going to leave it right there. So that one's there ready for cleaning up the sheep. We've got... How is our sheep and water doing right? That's 229. That's still climbing. Um, our actual sheep at the moment, 1699 for water. They're doing just fine. So I'm going to, to start with, I'm going to use, the, use this tractor to do to pull the wrapper because we want to be able to travel it fast out of the field and back over to here. Once I've done a few of these, there we go. Once I've done a few of these bales and we've got uh, we've reached our $10,000 target, then I will um I'll switch over to the other tractor. And then we can we'll be able to go and get that trailer. We'll probably head off, well, we're actually going to have to head off fairly soon and go and get that trailer. So we'll bring that one up over there like that. And I like the idea of using the other tractor. I really do. There we go. 919. So it is, it's slowly climbing. I'm actually thinking of fast forwarding time a little bit so that we can get a better price sooner. Um, sure if that would sort of be well, be within the, I think that would be within the rules of what I can do and what I can't do. I can't go slower than five times, but I've always said that I can manipulate time to go faster if I should want to. So, like, looking at this, there's 230 right there. If, if I... I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm taking a bit of a risk because once the price goes up a bit, we've then got to wait for it to... We may have to wait a little bit for it to... You know, it might drop. Before I get the trailer here, it might drop down lower than what I'd like, and that's not necessarily a good thing. That's that's when it starts to become a bit of an issue for us. Um, right, that's 236, 236. It's, it's not going to go up much higher than that. It's going to get... Yeah, and we're already coming up to 3 o'clock. I'll fast forward it until we get to 3 o'clock. 238, it's going to get maybe 240 and it's going to stop. We're not going to get any more than that. So we'll run until 3... Then we go back down to five times speed. There we go. Right, so we stopped for a cup of tea. 240, it's still going up. That surprises me, actually, that it's still going up at 242, but still. Um, we're not going to fast forward anymore because we've still got stuff that we want to do. We've still got um, wrapping and stuff to do. That's $970 per bale now. So... If we're reaching 970 at the moment, I would hope that we'd be able to get above the 250 per thousand mark, which would take us to above the $1,000 per bale mark. If we can get to above $1,000 a bale, that would be really good. So I'm, I'm thinking once we've got this trailer, then storing bales until we reach $1,000 a bale... That would be absolutely brilliant. 972 on that one. So I need, well, five more bales and that will give us the money that we need. So we only need to go and get another five and then we've got the money that we need. I know that I'm hitting those a little bit too hard and enthusiastically, but um, I'm sure you'll forgive me for that. And then we'll whiz that one on round there. If we can get, If we can get this money... Now, I'd like to get the money ready for it before the end of the episode. What I'd actually like, what I think I'll do is I'll get on the phone to the dealer and there's 974. I'll get on the phone to the dealer once we reach our 10 grand and I will tell him that we want to buy that baler, that, that, that trailer. As soon as we reach our 10,000, I will tell him, I wanna, I'll want to. i ring him up, tell him I want to buy that trailer and I want it... Um, 
that in the yard so that we can go and pick it up as soon as possible. And then we can go and get it and we can bring it back. There we go. There's another one. Because once we've cleared the bales off the field, it's 976. So slowly, it is slowly increasing for us. Every time we sell a bale, it's going up by another $2. Just as time slowly ticks by. I'll go and grab that one. So it should be... No, it's, it's going to be three bales. Three more. It's this one and two more. And that should be right. That should be absolutely spot on. Almost exactly ten grand. I'll bring you up to there like that. And unload. There we go. What are we going to get? That's going up to 978. It is. It's slowly increasing. Still going up. So if we were to fast forward time more than what we're doing right now, um, it would probably push that price all the way up to the thousand mark that we're after. Oops. Okay, well I didn't quite mean to... Well, we'll go and get this one over here. Two more bales. That's all we need. Then we can get that trailer ordered. Then we've got more bales to wrap. Then we want to get the bales off the field so that we can put some fertilizer on the field. That's going to be the next thing that we're going to need to do. And once we've got a layer of fertilizer across the fields, that's all we're going to actually need to do to that field at all. We're not, there's nothing else that we need to do to the field once we've got the fertilizer. 980, one more bale, and we've got it, and we've done it. So yeah, we've got uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We'll have another 12 bales left after this. If we get a full thousand per bale, there's another $12,000 coming off of this field to go into the kitty, which is absolutely fantastic. So then we can start, we can get the fertilizer on the field, we can go back to putting, um, doing stump grinding, uh, clearing the other field, we can start working on the plowing and stuff like that. Right, 983 right there. Let's get on the phone. Bailing technology right here, and right, Mr. Dealer, 36 round bales right there. Oops, back, no, I want to go to that one right there. So we can have Michelin wheels there, those big ones, or we can go with the Trailborg wheels right there, or Michelin. Okay, we'll go with the Trailborg wheels. Now, this is a fairly heavy-duty trailer, but I am confident that our tractor should be able to pull it. I don't think it's going to have any problem with that. So we will buy that bad boy right there, yes, for $10,000. Fantastic. That one will sit at the shop and it will wait for us. And just wondering if I should do the wrapping. You know what? I'm going to leave that wrapper there, just like that. And I'm also... Oh, no, wait. We wanted a bucket, didn't we? We actually want to have a bucket. So I'm... Ideally, what I want to do is I want to sell one more bale. I'll do that right now a minute, and then we're really going to have to go. Um, I'll pick that one up, and we will take this tractor as it is. We'll leave, we'll leave the bale spike behind, but we don't have a bucket. That's why we've been using the round baler to clean up after the sheep. But a bucket would be better, wouldn't it? That would be a better option. So we'll bring this one in here, like this, and we'll unload that one. This is going to allow us to be able to buy the bucket that we need down at the shop. So I'll leave that one in. $987 per thousand, uh, per bale, rather. So it's not per thousand. So we'll leave that one there. The rest of the bales, I'm actually going to wrap with... I'm going to use the other tractor to pull that, I think. Just for something a little bit different. We'll bring this one over here. Bring you in round, like that, and we'll leave the bale spike right down there. There, and I'll switch there like that. Right. I'll leave that one behind, and we're going to start heading towards the shop. So we'll take our short, we'll take a shortcut, we'll just go straight up through this way, and start heading that way. So we can get that trailer and bring it back here. And also, we need to buy a bucket, and we want to bring that one back as well. That's going to be it. We've got everything else we need at the moment. There's nothing else we need that I can think of. Uh, no, because, uh, like, working in here, we've got everything we need to be able to work this bit. It's just 
time is going to be the, the biggest issue for working all of that. And we'll worry about that later. So anyway, if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.